Terry from Mr. Locksmith. This is a scary Halloween story. Now some people say, okay people, we got enough now. Locksmiths, we get called out to some horrific stuff. So, a little bit of dark humor, gotta have some fun. But it is Halloween, scary story, find another channel if you don't wanna hear it. So I get called out to the job. It's, they haven't seen Uncle Fred for a while. Where's Uncle Fred? Family's there, police are there. I have to open up the door. It's a high security lock. I'm not picking it. I gotta drill it. That's just the way it is. So I drill the lock, crack the door just a little bit. Oh, before you do any of this, I bang on the door. I know the police are bang, the family are bang. I bang on the door. And you'll hear another story why we bang on the door before you go, before you start picking, drilling, whatever. So I got a high security medico. Okay, I got really good drill bits. I pop through everything pretty quick, and I just crack the door and I stand back. Let the police go in, that's their job. Crack the door, once you smell death, a rotted body, you know the smell. Stand back, cops go in, person's deceased, I won't go into all the gory details, but you can imagine, it's been a while. They're airing out the place, I've drilled the lock, the family wants, you know, high security lock on again, so I put on, a, uh, my favorite's Abloy, so I put on an Abloy deadbolt, I give them the keys, and I leave. Let them clear off everything, whatever. I'm gone like, you know, 45 minutes, I get the family call me. We can't get in, we're locked out. I go, well, you know, did you, did you use the, dead, the, the key? The only way you can lock out of a deadbolt is you locked it with the key. They said, no. We were airing the place out, the police, you know, did whatever. And they all went outside and they can't get back in. They said the lock has malfunctioned, we're locked out. So I'm thinking, you did, you, you know, it's an Abloy high security, did you use a, a lock, a key on it? Abloys do not malfunction, especially if I, I've installed it, it's perfect. So I turn around, go all the way back to this place. And now I'm a little bit freaked out. I got an Abloy lock, they, it's a malfunction, they didn't use the key, so they said. I go there, out in the hallway, you know, the cops have now left, I've got, there's clean up people there, I've got the family there, everybody's locked out. So everybody's outside, the condo's locked, you know, got cleaning people, I got the family, the cops have gone. So again, knock on the door, it's just habit. Knock on the door. Thank God nobody opened the door. <laughs> that would have freaked me out. I just stand right back, <laughs> let them go in, the family's all freaked, everybody's freaked out. They say every one of them tried the door and they couldn't get in. So they, they're all freaked out. They go inside, the body's still inside. I don't go in on this one. So I said, bring me the keys. Let's just double check. They give me the keys. I check the door, I lock the door, lock it. Check the thing, slam. I think, are the hinges loose? Are the screws loose? What's going on? I check the whole thing, top to bottom. They check it, they check the keys, which I did initially after I put the deadbolt in. They checked everything before I leave. I have my customers check. I checked everything. Everything's perfect. I still don't know why, whatever, but it freaked me out. I checked it like crazy. I had them check it. I left them and I never heard back from that again. Thank goodness. Happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry. Turn the handle, push the door, it opens. Everybody around me is freaked. It's my mom, but I have to ignore mom. It's my mom. She's got priority, even when I put it on do not call, mom still has priority.